The Toronto After Dark Film Festival is proudly sponsored by Space and opens Friday with a Swedish vampire film called Let the Right One In. I hear in order to kill a Swedish vampire, you need to put a wooden stake from Ikea through their heart. Other films of note are Repo, the genetic opera, I'm only living out alive. Mutant Chronicles featuring a cast of familiar sci-fi faces, Tokyo Gore Police featuring completely unrecognizable faces, and the freaky found video film, Home Movie. Yesterday morning, Jack and Emily crucified the family cat. Yes, another film using the old crucified cat gag. The festival also has two new zombie films set to premiere after the sixth annual Toronto Zombie Walk. The festival closes with a gala North American premiere screening of I Sell the Dead, featuring Dominic Monaghan and Hellboy himself, Ron Perlman. Well, that's a fair trade, then. And joining us in studio, it's festival director Adam Lopez. Thanks Cheers. for coming by. So, why should people go to this festival to see the films? Well, it's just really exciting to see them in a festival atmosphere. You've got all these other hundreds of other fans uh, who are into sci-fi, horror, and cult films, and they're all under one roof, getting a chance to see these films for the first time theatrically in the city. And we also have short films in front of the features to make it even more exciting. Oh, that's great. So, what are the space fans going to be excited about this year? Well, I think, in particular, they're going to go nuts for Mutant Chronicles, which is a post-apocalyptic sci-fi action epic with Ron Perlman from Hellboy, Thomas Jane from Punisher, and Devon Aoki from Sin City. Mm. And it's just a really crazy, uh, ultra-action driven film. Great, and I hear Ron Perlman might even be in town. There are rumors that he will be here for our closing gala screening, so we'll have to wait, wait and see and on see. that one. Well, unfortunately, Jack Brooks' Monster Slayer wasn't ready for the festival last year, but it is available now on DVD, and Natasha Eloy got to take a look.